What's going on guys and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do uh, circle burst with shape layers. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to use, how to do a burst using rectangles and then a circular one as well. Uh, it's not too difficult so I'm just going to hop right in and show you guys how I get it done. Okay so here we are in our blank composition. Uh, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and right click and then go to new and shape layer. Okay next we're going to do, we're going to add a rectangle. And then when you add a rectangle, it doesn't have any sort of fill or stroke, so we need to have to add that ourselves. So let's go, go ahead and add that. So let's add a fill. And then the fill color, we're going to change to white. Okay. And then the rectangle path, let's open that up. And so we have size, position, and roundness. We're going to mess with the size and position here. So let's unlink the uh, size so we can get a rectangle shape right here. So. I'm just squeezing the um, the sides and enlonging the, the length. So my numbers are 34, 200, which it's going to differ depending on what you're trying to do. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is change the position up above the, um, the anchor point about there. You'll see why I did that in a minute. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do is actually start to animate this rectangle. So um, let's go ahead and animate the size and position. So the keyframe on both of those. And then we're going to go down a few frames. Um, and then I'm going to change the size to uh, zero, zero. And then the position is just going to go up. So we're going to change it that way. So it's negative 320 for me now. Let's get that down. Okay, so now these keyframes are lined up. And what we have here is a rectangle that's moving up and disappearing. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is animate the um, scale of the entire shape layer. So let's do the same thing, keyframe at the beginning. This one I'm going to change down to like 30% and then line these back up and change it to like 120. So now we have is a rectangle that's scaling in and disappearing like that. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press U to see all my keyframes and then select them all and hit F9. And we're going to the graph editor and make sure you're on speed graph because that's what we're gonna change. And select these keyframes like this and then drag them to the side, to the left, just like that. Okay, so now you have a graph that looks like that and the animation looks like this. Okay, so that's the animation that we want. Now all we have to do is repeat it. So to do that, you just want to go into contents here and we're going to add a repeater. Okay, so now as you can see, it's already repeating it. And look what we have. We have these three rectangles that are going up and disappearing, but that's not what we want. We want it in a circle. They're all going in different directions from the center. Okay, so to do that, we're gonna go into our repeater settings and then we're gonna turn our copies up. Uh, let's do nine. So since we're on nine copies, we're gonna go down to the transform repeater. And we want the position on zero and the rotation is 360 divided by nine because we have nine copies. So now, look at that. Okay, now that we've got the animation burst that we want, uh, now you can just duplicate it like this, hit um, control D and move it to the side just like that. And then change the fill color so let's do this one red and then let's duplicate it again. And then this one blue or something, right? Okay, so now we have this. Cool little animation burst that um, looks neat if you put it behind text or something like that, so. Okay, and the last thing I'm gonna show you is how to do something similar but with the circle. Um, it's a lot easier. So let's go ahead and add another shape layer. I'm gonna bring this one to the bottom and I'm going to open up our contents. I'm going to add an ellipse, there it is. And then I'm going to add a stroke instead of a fill, okay? So now we have, um, let's change the stroke width higher, about 10 should be fine. And then I'm going to go in our ellipse path and the size, there we go. And I'm going to keyframe the size here. And it's gonna go from that size to this size nothing too special. And then all you really gotta do is go into the stroke and keyframe the stroke width. 
and from 10 to zero is what I'm gonna do. And that's really all it is. It's just a simple zero, there we go. And then you can do the same thing with the keyframes, hit U and then select them, hit F9, go into the graph and make them faster on that side. That's really all there is to it. Um, the uh, last thing I would show you, I'd show you guys how to do to make um, your compositions a little bit more clean um, is how to change uh, the colors here. Like you see in this one, I have them color coordinated to um, white, red, and blue. So basically what I did there is to have these colors in here, uh, you have to go to your edit, preferences, and then where's your labels right there. And you can change the colors of um, that you're going to see in your labels. So once you have those set, you can go in here and pick the colors that, that coordinate with your layers. So you can ever see everything a lot easier. Um, yeah, that's just, that's just my preference here. And this, I just realized this needs to be cut. Um, alt bracket to shorten alt left bracket is what I did. Um, you can also do this scale the, um, ellipse. So it starts a little bit smaller. Um, keyframe it just like this. I feel like it's a little bit too big. But yeah, it's really all I have for this tutorial. Really just the basic of learning how to do shape layers. Um, it's really not that complicated. Um, just keep practicing with them and you'll understand how they work. Those keyframes are too short. It's just a lot of playing around, a lot of trial and error to get stuff to work the way you want it to work. But yeah, um, leave a like if you guys enjoyed and leave me, leave me some suggestions if you got something specific you want me to look at and um, I'll see you guys next time.